Hello everyone, my name is Bottletop Hornet, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. <laughs> Today's episode is going to be a little bit of a different one. We're not necessarily going to be focusing on, uh, on many builds or anything like that. There's something that I haven't done yet in this series, and I've been thinking about it for a very long time. And I figured, why not do it now, otherwise I may, may forget about it in the long run. So, what I'm going to do is grab myself a few of these, and uh, we're going to come up here to our little friends, the cartographers. Because we found plenty of ocean monuments on our journeys, but one thing that we haven't ever gone and looked for is a woodland mansion. So I need a compass. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, can I buy them from you? I can. No. <laughs> I can buy them from librarians though, I think. Please and thank you. Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> Saves me the trip. So, we're going to purchase ourselves one of these. And, uh, eh, well, we'll purchase a second one. Ah, uh, we need another compass. I'm pretty sure it'll probably point us to the same one. But we may as well grab a second one just in case. There's two options. And uh, one might point closer. So, a thank you. So with that, we're going to uh, remove that from our hand. And, okay, there's one there. Uh, two different ones. Interesting. Okay. So. <laughs> that's good. Uh, they're sort of in different directions. Both of them are south, which is that direction. We haven't actually traveled that far out there. So south. And one of them's a little bit southeast. In fact, they're both mm, southwest? Southeast. Oh, God. Directions. What are they? If I'm facing this way... And I need to go further south, but we point the top of the map towards the north, southeast, and almost directly south with this one is uh, about where we are. Well, we don't know. But rambling, rambling, rambling aside, I think I'm going to gear up with a bunch of uh, rockets. Who did I look at? You? So sorry. Going to gear up with a bunch of rockets, which I have plenty of in here. So I should be able to definitely make it. We'll, uh, yeah, we got a full elytra and we should have a spare one in here as well. Yep. So plenty of elytra to get us there. We have chest plates. We have swords. Going to grab a little bit of extra food. And we're going to go on an adventure. <laughs> we're going to go take on and have an explore of some woodland mansions. So... Let me gather what I need to. Let me get up a little supply of uh, bits and pieces in my inventory. Clear out some junk that doesn't need to be there. And we'll go for a quick fly. I hope it's quick. Hopefully they're not too far away. <laughs> Alright. So. <laughs> we'll come up to our little launch pad here. Uh, what happened there? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't have anything on me because I've just filled my inventory with what I need. But... I've grabbed some spare shulkers, a bed so that we can set a spawn just outside of it, my chest plate, spare food, even some golden apples just in case, and I have some ender chests on me for emergency purposes, but as far as I can tell, uh, yeah, we are to the north, so you use the maps you face to the north. For me, I just do that by uh, opening up my F3 menu, and I can tell that I'm facing to the north, and uh, it is that direction. And the other one is possibly that direction a little bit. So we're going to go to this one first. I'm going to put that into my offhand so that I can fly with it. And we're going to see how long it takes us to get there. <laughs> I honestly have no idea. It could be many thousands of blocks away, but the circle on the map doesn't look too small in comparison to, you know, what it usually is. Sometimes I think they can get even smaller than that. But with a bit of luck, it shouldn't take us too long to get out there and we can see what it's like when we're there. All right, long flight ahead. <laughs> well, that could have saved us a few rockets. <laughs> Didn't even realize I was out this direction with the, uh, with the Guardian Farm. And there was also just, just over there, another ocean monument I didn't even realize. Oh, well. <laughs> Either way, seems like we're still on the right track, but it hasn't really moved much. I'm gonna continue. Is that a mushroom biome? Did I know that was there? Huh. The things you find when you fly around your world a little bit more. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. That's a huge cliff on that. Hmm. Well, we'll try not to get too distracted, and we'll keep flying. Whew. 
Ooh, okay. So after stopping for a quick sleep so that we didn't travel in the night time, we've actually just hit the point where we are lining up with its direction. And soon, all we have to do is just to continue to uh, travel south from here. Amazing. So hopefully, within another thousand blocks or so, <laughs> depends, uh, we might see ourselves at a woodland mansion. Okay, plenty of health on the Elytra, plenty of rockets left. Let's go. Ooh, that's pretty cool. It's about this point that you sort of start to wonder, I'm heading in the right direction, right? <laughs> oh, I really like that. I love the Shattered Savannas. I'm pretty sure I'm heading the right way, but I mean, you guys may or may not be able to tell already because you're, uh, you're watching this in the future, but yeah, there's a possibility I'm not. I think I am, but there's a possibility. <laughs> That is truly a pretty incredible uh, place though. So I'm going to actually take a screenshot of that. We are currently 15,000 blocks out and we may as well raid this while we're here as well. Ooh, and that's a good sign. We just went bigger on the map. I picked the right direction. <laughs> wow, that's actually an incredible mountain range too. Look at that. It almost looks like a step towards what the next update's going to be like. But that means that just on the other side of here, we should see a dark oak forest and with a bit of luck, a giant mansion any second now. There it is. Ah, I am so glad to know that I picked the right way. <laughs> okay, what an interesting place to uh, be set up. Let's see if we can find out which side has the entry on there. Probably the one that I approached, but sometimes it's a little hard to uh, see because of the, uh, the way that the, the whole setup generates. But we're here, and I can see our foe straight away. Our Elytra, not too bad, made it. We used a stack and a half of rockets, and it took me about 26 minutes of flying. So, yeah, not too bad. Now, all I have to do is find an entryway, and we'll get to, uh, <laughs> we'll get to raiding this thing. How far out are we? Ah, currently 26,000 blocks out. You love to see it. So, we found ourselves the entry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually place this bed just outside here and uh, set ourselves up so that we are safe to, uh, to go in there. I might grab this and just dump... Ah, excuse me. Dump a bit of stuff into here. Like so. All the unimportant bits and pieces. And then... Um, I kind of really don't want to risk losing aerial ambience, so we'll also put that away. Right, we have plenty of food, we have plenty of uh, golden apples, we should grab our shield, because we know that those guys can hit like a truck with the axes, so I will put that there, so we can switch over to it at a moment's notice, but it's nice to have the torches available, just so that we can uh, defend ourselves. Not defend ourselves. That's what the shield's for. Light up the screen. I, not, I like to have the torches in my hand for filming purposes. So, let's, uh, let's see what this place is all about. I'm going to start off by trying to uh, stick to the bottom floor and explore most of it if I can. And we're just going to go and place stuff on the left when we've been there. <laughs> so, with places like this, we'll be able to tell that we've been into those doorways. And this is interesting. I can't say that I've uh, I've really ever done more than one of these things before. So I will do a little bit of exploring and uh, check under all of this because 
I don't know what kinds of stuff is hidden around these rooms, but please, if you are watching this and you're in the comments already typing, oh, there's nothing there and I don't know yet, be patient with me. The last time that I <laughs> ventured into one of these uh, mansions was probably like six or so years ago. I don't know. When they were introduced, I went and explored one and haven't since. So it has been a little while. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything in there. If there is, I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments. All right. Plenty of uh, creepers, but we've yet to see an illager. Come into here. Vindicator, I should say. All right. Now we're talking. I'm going to put that there. Yeah. All right. I forgot to put my shield back in my uh, hotbar, so switching to it's not really an option right now. That's fine. We should be able to handle them as long as there's only one at a time, but I will put that there just in case. Let's uh, let's carefully head into here. Interesting. Like I said, it has been a long while since I uh, have explored one of these places, so it does feel a little bit new to me. And some of these rooms, they're so dark. Truly terrible. <laughs> if you're not prepared for this place, you really could get hurt. But Having a full netherite set up, <laughs> full armor, pretty much guarantees that I, I'm not going to die unless I do something silly. And we're going to try and avoid that. Now there was an illager in here, or a uh, vindicator, but I don't know where he went. I saw his head behind there, I could have sworn. Is that a dark oak single tree? Cool. <laughs> Alright, we carry on. Now... Is there anything dangerous in here? That scared the living daylights out of me. <laughs> All right. It's amazing how much uh, they pack into this. I, I honestly would love if they if they did a bigger builds like this, bigger things that you can find and explore, bigger structures around the world, because these things are so fascinating. They're so large, um, really quite fun to explore and find, even though they are so far away from where you spawn um it is it is nice having something this big all right we're going to avoid the second story for now i'm going to continue on down this way there we go stay safe there ah, these places are quite interesting i'm pretty sure that that kind of uh, structure was definitely not a thing the last time i came into one um, so, cool. You really could turn one of these into a base if you uh, so desired. Especially if you found one that wasn't too far away. It wouldn't be that strange to set it up as a base. This is odd. I feel like once I've cleared the place out and uh, gotten rid of all of the Vindicators, it might be worth breaking through some random walls and just seeing if there's hidden things tucked around this. Ooh. Uh, we're out of torches and I don't want to go any further until I have some more. So we'll quickly grab out this and make sure we're stocked up. Onwards. See, this is so cool. I wish there was a uh, more. A <laughs> diamond hoe, apparently. Amazing. Uh, I'm going to leave everything else because it's not really worth it, but we'll take that diamond hoe back with us for sure. All right. That feels like I should break through it. <laughs> but we'll take care of these guys first. Coming in through here, this is just an accident waiting to happen. Another diamond hoe. <laughs> you love to see it. Again, we're just going to leave the rest of that. At this point in time, it's not much use to me, as uh, I'm pretty, pretty decked out yet. Yeah, definitely something behind there. So, let's be careful. Watching where we go. <laughs> and high an axe. I do like that they've, uh, they have the single, single wide uh, dark oak trees. I wish that you could grow those uh, naturally. Oh, another one of these see what we get this time enchanted apple anyone nope just another diamond hoe <laughs> naturally spawned chainmail though that's pretty cool 
All right. Seems like that is the extent of the downstairs. Although there is definitely the possibility that some of these walls could lead to other places. Yeah, for example, like that could definitely be something in there. Which, honestly, it's probably just the other side that we've already explored. Makes sense. I would say it's time for us, well, for one, to do that. We might uh, store a bunch of the bits and pieces in here, just so we don't run out of room and can pick things up if we need to in the heat of the moment. There we go. Still stocked up on food. Let's head upstairs. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, wow. That is dangerous. All right. What we're going to do is quickly eat this golden apple. And smart thing we did, because that could have been the end of us. Still amazing how with uh, the netherite gear, it's a dangerous place. <laughs> it's very, very much uh, possible to get caught by like four of them, as we did just there. And coming out worse for wear. Especially if they have enchanted pickaxes, or axes I should say. I'm in the middle of fighting, I'm not thinking properly. When they have the enchanted axes, it's really easy to, uh, <laughs> to take a lot of damage. And they just all decided to wait at the top of the stairs for me, apparently. Okay. <laughs> if this was a hardcore world, I might have been a little bit more stressed. But as it is not, and we have set our spawn outside on that bed, not too worried about it. We're going to put the torches back in our hand and uh, go for a little bit more of an explore. So interesting, this whole setup. One of the most fascinating and uh, detailed of buildings that they ever put into the game. And you barely ever find them. They're so rare. <laughs> it's odd. It's like a library of sorts. I can still hear quite a few of them, so I am being very, very careful. Especially of you. Need to take care of those super quickly. And then we'll, uh, we'll run back and try and take out these vexes. Where is that other guy hit me with those from? We're going to take the uh, golden apple again, just because it's nice to have that resistance. If you have enough gold before you come set these up, uh, definitely worth popping in and making yourself a handful of them. Oh wow, because they do hit quite hard. Yeah, like, very hard. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, still more of them. Okay, so there's obviously a guy who saw us at some point. We're going to switch over to this so that we can block if we need to. In fact, uh, no, we've still got our resistance, so we should be fine. There you are. There we go. Got ourselves a totem of undying. The first one that we've uh, ever seen in this world. There we go. And once again, we're just going to pop another golden apple. Oh, they're everywhere. See? There we go. <laughs> I must say, it has actually been a really long time since I've done this. And I forgot how bad these guys are to deal with. You really have to find those uh, summoners or whatever they're called uh, pretty much straight away if you can. I think our best bet here is to uh, pop another apple and see whether we can go find the, the one who is causing all these problems. Where are you, friend? Probably upstairs, but we're just going to do a quick wander through here. Make sure we uh, clear out any Vindicators so they can't sneak up on us. There we go. My hands are actually sweating. I'm uh, stressed. All right, where are you, sir? Gonna shoot you from a distance, pop another one of these, get ourselves a little bit of extra health. Oh, okay. Lovely, big chicken. I'm sure there's something inside of that. But right now, my best bet is to uh, find this other guy. Where are you? You're in a hidden room somewhere. I can hear a Vindicator somewhere. Ooh. Up here? No, but there is a chest. Ooh, two music discs. The exact same ones, but still. Alright, we really need to find them now. 
Ooh. Lucky I'm up here and didn't get caught in a corner with them. Very lucky indeed. And now let's maybe punch through here. Oh, yep. And you, you're the one I want to get rid of. Please and thank you. Now the rest I can probably handle. Come here. Come in. Okay. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Little fella is just about to come at me like that. And this is obviously a part of the uh, the top that I didn't have access to before. Oh, there's more of you. Alright. Okay. My bow is better. <laughs> we go through here. Double check a few of these corners. They must be like confession booths or something. <laughs> we'll go up here and see if there's another chest. There is. Yeah, a bunch of diamond hose. <laughs> We're never going to need another one. But looks like we've uh, pretty much made it to the end of all of the available rooms. This must be a, a map of some sort or an indication of one anyway. I wonder if there's anything secret. Always worth looking into them. <laughs> that doesn't look like it. And at this point, I don't hear. We should uh, grab this. Put away these totems because they're valuable. But I don't actually hear... Or see in the uh, in the subtitles any more of the Vindicators or the other guys. You can never remember their name. <laughs> Look at that view. Cool. We might have done it. We got ourselves a few of the, uh, the Totems of Undying as payment. We might do a little bit more exploring and uh, see if there's any secrets that I missed. If anything looks like there's part of the ceiling is... Uh, it's not quite in the right spot. I'll have a look through. I do want to find that chicken again. <laughs> I can't remember where that chicken was. Maybe upstairs? But at least we know and can see that uh, there doesn't appear to be anything else. Chicken! <laughs> Let's have a look around this chicken. Do you reckon there's anything inside of it? There's got to be, surely. No? Nothing in the chicken? It's kind of disappointing. Something in the chicken's head? Hmm. Well, I'll be. <laughs> Nothing inside the chicken. All right. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump outside onto the roof. And we're going to have a little bit of a look around and see whether there's any windows that show inside to a room that I couldn't get access to before. But I don't think so at this point. Either way, it's still worth having a look. <laughs> we, might, uh, we might have to go around a long way to those ones. And if not, we might have done it. Look at me in my full armor setup. It's a rare sight indeed. <laughs> it's not something that I usually have to do. Uh, let's get up here. Just because, in general, I don't need to defend myself like that. Now, let's uh, pop out over here. <laughs> but, again, I don't think there's anything that I missed. Nope. Saw most of those places. Worth checking that out, though. No. Nah, nothing behind that either. Well, then. All in all, I think we managed okay. <laughs> like I said, it has been a very, very long time since I've uh, raided one of these things. Just because they're usually an absolute pain to get back to. <laughs> but I'm glad we came out here. I'm glad we did it on the Let's Play world before the 1.18 update comes out. And, uh, oh, I have an arrow in my arm. With that, I think we can call that an episode. Bit of a different one than usual, but I enjoyed it. We came out, we conquered, now... Uh, i got to make my way back. <laughs> we might go down and gather some obsidian. I should have brought some with me and make a, uh, a portal, travel back through the nether just to cut our time down significantly. But I'm not going to do that on camera. It's honestly uh, not worth the time and effort to uh, show all of that. So thanks for hanging out with me for this episode, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a bit of fun watching me... Uh, sort of struggle to uh to make my way through here but we did get ourselves some goodies a few totems of undying even though i don't really use them but they're good to have just in general and yeah we can say that we've done it tick another thing off the list so with that being said i'd like to thank my patreon supporters especially my level three supporters tom and ness thank you guys so much for your continued support in uh, helping me run the community server that we have going the smp head on over to the discord if you want to hang out with us guys over there and uh, I'm doing my outro. Excuse me. <laughs> and if you enjoy this episode, please leave a like. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next one, make sure you take care of yourselves. 
and I'll see you then. <laughs> bye bye, guys. Anyone else? Anyone else? Oh, did I explore this place? Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything there. <laughs> bye bye. Whoop. <laughs>